I, I'm, I'm trying to do more stuff in real life, but you know that that internet, that internet just keeps coming back, doesn't it? All right, Shelby, Rookie, <laughs> are you there? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> One second. Sorry, you're plugged into the PA, you're, it's, so it gets a little bit of feedback sometimes. How's it going? It's going great. Um, um, it's my birthday party here in Chicago. Hello, everyone in Iowa. Beautiful, the beautiful Iowa River City, uh, Illinois, right, right, right across the bridge. Oh, awesome! Yeah, um, hard to beat. So, uh, yeah, we have some people here too. You can't see them, but they're um, kind of over here to my um, to my right. Hey, um, I. Man, that sounds like a better crowd than we got over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, y'all should come over. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I just so everyone in uh, Dubuque knows, I um, am a big fan of Kurt, uh, particularly his uh, Facebook presence, and um, I wanted to call him and publicly thank him because he's been uh, a big influence on me. Tonight um, is my first um, my first solo show as a conceptual artist. Um, the show is called Rookie of the Year. It's about my Facebook page. And um, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank Kurt. Thank you so much um, for everything that you've done thank for, you, the, thank for the medium. You. Thank you. Um, so, Kurt, if you have time, uh, uh, maybe we could ask you some, some questions about um, your practice, and uh, maybe people could ask you questions about me. Sure. Sure. Does anyone have a question? You can step over here where I am to the computer if you have a question. Okay, I'll start it off. Kurt, yes. why do you have two Facebook pages? Okay, well, this is a very interesting story and very uh, related to uh, the dangers of Facebook. Now, uh, you may be familiar with a, a joke that I did in May uh, called Kurt's New Hat. Um, it was on. It was on Reddit. It was on Buzzfeed. It was all over everywhere. As a result of that, uh, I uh, accepted about three hundred uh, new friends to my Facebook page. Uh, and uh, when that happens, uh, you end up seeing a lot of very, very misogynistic, sexist, um, racist, uh, homophobic, transphobic, what any any kind of phobia you can have. Spiders is one that I remember specifically. Um, lots. Lots of stuff on there that you just really don't want to see, you know. And uh, it it kind of it got it got a, it took me away from why I truly joined Facebook to begin with, which was to stay connected with people who were far away from me. Uh, and uh, so I started a new Facebook page called Curti, um, uh, that was only friends only on that one. It's only I only got a hundred friends, um, and uh, you know it's only people that I love to post stuff. Uh, I would. Uh, like to say, uh, rookie love was one of the first friend requests made. So, if that's not saying that you're doing a great job with Facebook, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, does anyone else have a question for Kurt? Do you want to step over here? We've got a question over here if you have a second. Hey, Kurt. Hey. Big fan of your page, you. um, but also turns out fan of your music. Um, and I'm wondering, sort of how um, you take the experimental nature of your musicianship and you translate that to the Facebook um, medium. And then, furthermore, how you feel like uh, Rookie Love also kind of achieves that um, experimental conceptual um, work. Um, in both forms. Certainly. Well, well, I think uh, right here, right now, is a perfect example of the meshing between the real world and the internet world, the Facebook world, and uh, the real world. Uh, the event that I'm currently at is an event that was invited. I was invited to on Facebook. Uh, when Shelby called me, I was playing a song about Facebook, and. Um, <laughs> That's, that's just uh, kind of the way that the two worlds intersect, is you make art about the things you care about. I care about Facebook, and, um, you know, that's 
that's what speaks to me. That's that's what uh, rules my roost. And um, as as for uh, rookie love, I I think that um, you know every every day you see a, a damn uh, hey hey come to this show kind of post. You know sometimes sometimes he says it's gonna be the best show ever. Frankly, I don't buy it. He's been to a lot of shows. Uh, statistically, they can't all be great. You know. Um, Especially some of the shows that he set up for me, let me tell you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, it's it's just kind of, Facebook is a great way to connect with people near and far. And I think Shelby is a great example of someone who uses Facebook to reach out to his community. Thank you for that. Was, yeah. that was a thoughtful answer. Mm-hmm. Do, does anyone in the audience have a question for Ricky? I see some people left. Yeah, it, you know, uh, most most people uh, came came for music, but then uh, I had other plans. <laughs> okay, well, we can wrap up in a minute. Maybe one last question. Sure. From either audience. <laughs> Anyone? All right, Kurt, I got one for you. Yeah. So we've had a lot of great collaborations so far. Sure. The international convention for people who are on Facebook right now is a smash hit. Um, this video call is wildly popular. Uh, how, many other, how many other viewers we got on this right now online? In the in the dozens for okay. sure. Um, what's next? What's next? What's the next step? How are we gonna How are we gonna take this further for well, tomorrow? What's that? Yeah. Um. I, I'm working on this new project. It's called uh, Funny Bumper Stickers, and uh, I got I got a bumper sticker about Bernie Sanders, and we're just trying to ramp it up from there. I've got a bunch of ideas in my head. Um, if you, if you wanted to make a bumper sticker, if you wanted to buy a bumper sticker for me, uh, plan in Chicago, uh, November thirteenth, and uh, you know I could uh, get it from you then. Uh, you get a great addition to the collection, you know. Awesome. That's great. So if, if, if for the people in Chicago, if you want to get in touch with Kurt Warren, you can friend him. Kurt Warren, I guess Kurt T is just for friends. So if he wants, he'll, he'll friend you if that's going to happen. But thank you so much for your time, Kurt. And everyone's a view. Thank you for making my birthday special. Thank you guys for your set. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me in that bizarre uh, exchange. Uh, I'm going to keep doing what I was doing. And then uh, my set will be over soon, I assure you. Thank <laughs> you.
Let me try to describe love for you. In lavender fog that the sunrise is gently swimming through, you're opening a golden fortune to me, light, stain. When I think about love, I, I think about a lot of things. I kind of like people in my life, but also the passions that I have. There is nothing about the tiny mind and massive soul that you do not already know. The knowledge is deeper than you and everything in the universe. The nature of love is just you know, it's hard to talk about. I want all of my buddies a lot. And so she hang out with them. Take them back. I don't really like to hang out with them. <laughs> Realize that everyone has their own same hidden problems and sadnesses. And that we should never be too assuming about another person. Uh, because ultimately they are all part of the same as a soul. Yeah, our, but our tiny minds just can get in the way. I only feel connected to very, very few people. And I feel lonely all the time. People can really get under your skin and give you big bruises. When you're in love with someone else, it's always a different kind of feeling for each person. And Sometimes it's a crazy feeling and you feel insane and obsessive. There's the whole, it's like a buffet, you know, keep going, keep coming back for more. Maybe a dessert if you want. Oops, 
more warm and comforting and not as obsessive and insecure, but uh, just like a really pure kind of love that, that you are really sure of and it holds you uh, throughout the day and inspires you throughout the day and lets you be yourself and do the things that you want to do. And, um, it's not a matter of the I know that I deserve it and that I need that and I'm glad I'm at that place in my life and I think it'll just only get bigger and bigger.